Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Behind me is my 1997 Toyota MR2 Mark II and it's not very healthy. It's got big whack in the front and in the last episode I left it with you guys telling me whether I should break it for parts, um, sell it as a project or fix it up. So after reading everyone's comments it's about 50-50 whether I should break this car or fix it. So I think in this episode I'm just going to strip it all down at the front end see how bad it really is underneath there and the most important thing is we're going to get it on the lift because if it's completely rotten underneath then it's, it's not worth fixing but well fingers crossed it is or fingers crossed it isn't I don't actually really know what I want to do yet but um, yeah let's start stripping out that front end get it torn down bumpers wings off and see how bad they are and then we can get it on the lift see how bad the rust is because we found some rust in the last video and um it didn't look great. All right, so you, this, these should be in line with each other. So that has moved over like at least an inch this way. And that is this whole metal bar. So, and you can see here, that it's even bent this piece over. You can see how it's crinkled in there. This whole front crash strict section, like this whole bit here has shifted massively here as well as going that way this end has gone back in so you can see that here where this is kinked in sort of in the suspension tower here I'm not sure how bad that is all of this around the actual suspension strut seems all right but I think the first thing we're gonna have to do is try and remove this front bumper this wing that wing as well because that's also damaged get these headlights out and see what we're working with I'm pretty sure this radiator is toast because I don't know if you can see that oh it's definitely toast <laughs> but yeah let's start stripping this whole front end and see what we're left with
All right, the front end is off. That was an absolute nightmare to get off. Um, I think I snapped more bolts than I actually undid, to be honest. But yeah, it's it's all off. I think the the crash was really blocking some of the access to some of the bolts, but I got them all out in the end. If these wings weren't so dented, I would say they're actually surprisingly good rust-wise, but they are. That one might be salvageable, maybe, but the other one completely not. But yeah, let's have a look at the damage here. I'm struggling to believe that this car was on the road in 2023 because you saw the state of that headlight and look how rusted that had got. And I just have a feeling everywhere where there's it, it's been bent and stuff, like rust has appeared, quite, quite a lot of rust that I think makes me think that the crash happened a while ago. So, and it's just been sitting there. But yeah, this is not great. So this bar is completely bent. I've got to try and get that off. And then that has pushed all of this back in here and over. This actually still kind of straight there, but there's this frame rail down here. I can't really see it, but it's underneath this tank, which somehow has survived miraculously. But yeah, this, there's a frame rail here and that is completely bent. That's going to be the hardest thing to sort out. I'm sure you can just replace these and this front bit, I can probably just, I can probably hammer most of that out to be fair up here. It's just that it's completely crumpled in there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, that's completely crumpled. That's going to be the hardest bit. My camera didn't record any audio for this bit, but it's probably me just going, look at how damaged this is. Um, the frame rail's really bent, extremely bent. Um, almost folded in half to be honest and then me saying probably oh look this bit's really bent too um <laughs> on this bit also looks like it might be a bit bent um and then me saying let's put it on the lift so we can see how rusty it is i imagine that's the gist of it All right, so it's on the lift. Um, this lift, it's on the lowest setting on the lift. The lift does go about twice, not twice as high, well, goes about 30% higher. So you can stand fully underneath it, but it's not loaded on there terribly well. It's a bit rear heavy and it's a bit far that over there. So I'm only really happy with it this height. But yeah, I can get under there. I've got my battery jumper thing, which is also a torch which is useful so I'm gonna have a look under here for the first time start at the back shall we okay let's have a look we've got this rear corner doesn't look so bad so far it's rear subframe it's a bit crispy up there yeah I don't know that might just be surface rust Let's get in this rear corner. So that's pretty rotten in there. That doesn't look great. Let's see what we've got going on. Not bad around the frame of it. Okay. Let's get under the sills. The sills are the most important bits. Get in here. It looks pretty solid in the sill here. That doesn't look great. What's that? Oh yeah. Yeah, we found a big hole here. All right. What is this?
that's not good. There's a big old bit of underseal on here that's just making it look okay, but it really isn't. That makes me worry about the whole rest of it, to be fair. To be fair, it's not bad over there, but that is not good. I mean, it is just a patch, but where does it end, you know? So we found a big hole there. What else we got? Get right under this thing, shall we? Doesn't look bad in there. I've got to say, that looks alright. There's a big, big oil leak. That must be where we're losing our oil. Because we're losing oil quite badly somehow. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, let's go up the front. All good around here. These front sections are all fine. I mean, they look fine. Can't really get under this tray that's here. But it looks good under there. The one I can just about see. Get over this side. We've got a rust hole in the door here. Not great. Um, look at this sill. Front sill looks fine. This side. Bit crispy there. Let's delve into that, shall we? I think that's alright. I think. That's just surface rust. That That's fine. A few bits. That's not so bad. That's okay. That looks like just sort of surface stuff. That's not bad. Not bad, this side. Can't really see because I put a big, bloody big plank of wood in there. But I think that's okay in there. Rust wise, we've got this corner, bottom and top. And we've got this corner. I didn't actually look in here, but I imagine it's gone if the other one's gone. Yeah, we've got this whole corner. So this whole corner and that whole corner, rust wise, and that patch. I don't know if that's good or bad on these, but. This is the worst bit by a mile. But then again, it's just a flat patch. I can I can patch that up really easily. All right, so I've got to say, I'm pretty surprised with the lack of rust on this car. I know it looks quite bad, but I've heard these are awful normally. So in theory, we've only really got one patch to do over there. Um, and I'll ask, if I ever do get this straight enough to take for an MOT, I'll ask about the rear because it's not really close to anything structural in these cor rear corners, but if, if they've got a problem with it, I can take the bumper off, I'm sure we can fix it. But the main one is that seat belt mount needs to be fixed, and it looks pretty simple, just gotta take the seat out, um, peel off a bit of carpet, and should be able to just put a flat piece in there. But yes, let's get on what to do with this front. Um, let's get it off the lift, and I'm gonna try and find a way to pull it. I was thinking of tying it to a tree and reversing, but now I'm thinking that the airbag will probably go off if I do that, so I'm gonna get it off the lift. If I can disable the airbag, I'll still do that. All right, this is the tree I'm thinking of. It's ginormous. I don't know how old the tree is, but I'm sure it won't mind me doing this.
bars I'm getting somewhere. That's front bars pretty much straight now. This has started to come out here. It's frame rail. Still pretty bent. I'm gonna try and get around more around this and pull on this now. Compared to where we were this morning, this is looking a thousand times better. Um, let me get it back down to the workshop and uh, we can start getting the portal power, um, slide hammers, and sort of try pulling this out a bit more. I think if I go any harder with the tree, I'm probably going to cause more damage than there is already there. But yeah, it's all straightening out much better than I thought. These have come over, these bars, this needs, just needs to come over a fraction more. And it's actually looking pretty straight. I mean, if you look at it from here, it doesn't look too bad. This front section is pretty rough. This honestly does have to be one of the sketchiest things I've ever done. Um, I've never tried this before, so I'm pretty impressed with the outcome at the moment. But yeah, I am really impressed that this actually worked. Well, sort of. All right, that's now welded in place and it's solid. And I'm pretty sure it's the same in the same place as the other side. 
Um, I'm still trying to find a new one of these crash bars for the right price. There is a guy down the road who's got one, um, but I'm just struggling to find a time to pick it up with him because he doesn't seem to be available every time I'm available, but hopefully we'll come together and we'll manage to sort it out. I've just put a bit of paint over there, all that to stop it from going rusty. Um, definitely not the right white paint, but you can see I didn't couldn't really film all of the uh, the bashing out of this because it just it was so monotonous and it took so long. Um, but yeah, cut this panel off. It's all wet still. Cut that panel off. Managed to get in there and knock all of the the other stuff out. And I think it's in the right place. I've measured it compared to that one over there, and um, everything seems about right. I need to get a new top bar along here as well. So I need a new one of these and a new top radiator support but i have got over here a bumper and a bonnet the bumper is not in very good condition i had to go halfway up the country to pick this up and the guy assured me that he had everything and it was in good condition and i got there and this is just it's almost just as bad as the one i've got and he told me he had the crash bar and everything else so i went all the way up there didn't have any of those bits he tried to give me an audi wing as the uh the wing that i need as well so that was frustrating but yeah, I'm still on the lookout for possibly another bumper, a crash bar, top mount, and a wing, and a headlight, I guess. Yeah, I do need a headlight because that one's ruined. All right, so I'm going to put this red bonnet on, and I'm going to put the lock on. And in theory, if everything's in the right place here, they should meet up. Fingers crossed. That looks pretty straight to be honest with you um, and even in here where the latch is you can see in here where the latch is it's hitting pretty much bang on where it needs to hit yeah that's pretty much hitting perfect in there so I'm pretty happy with where this is lining up these bump stops things hit on here this side looks good too everything looks pretty good up there you can see that one's in the right place as well and that one so, all in all, I'm pretty happy with how straight this is. All right, it's getting a bit dark here now, but I'm pretty happy with how that frame rail's come out, and I'm really impressed um, with the tree bit. Um, I probably could have gone a bit harder on pulling it from the tree to get some of that out, but I just didn't want, I was just a bit nervous, to be honest. The first time I've ever done anything like this, so I didn't want to pull too hard and then just rip the whole front thing off and then have nothing to work with, so. I probably should, could have replaced that frame rail in the end, but it took a long time to hammer it out. It's okay. I think it's pretty safe. Let me know what you guys think. Um, do need to get a new crash bar and the top radiator support bar. Um, I might just piece the thing together as it is with my ones in, and when I get them, just replace them. Um, we've got that new bumper, which needs a bit of work. Bonnet seems good. Need a wing for this side. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get... I've got a couple bits on order. I think I've got a headlight on order. But yeah, I'm going to get everything together, piece it all together. Hopefully, it'll, fingers crossed, it all fits together. It should do. Um, I'll do all that in the next one. And then if it's any good, I'll probably take this thing for an MOT. Oh, I've got to do the rust patch. But yeah, I might take it for an MOT before I paint it just to make sure it all works all right and they're all happy with this. They should be. It's, I think it's pretty solid. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's all come out pretty good, and hopefully in the next one, this should be running and driving and back on the road. I know it really doesn't make economical sense really to put this back on the road, but hey-ho. Um, I really don't like seeing cars be scrapped, so yeah, this will be hopefully, fingers crossed, back on the road in the next video. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next one.